Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anovella and today we are going to talk about The Shards by Brett Easton Ellis. What a book, what a book this is. He starts off very well, so he says that uh, this is his story and he has been walking around with it for at least 20, 20 years and he's very, very nervous to tell him to tell the story because it happened to him and his friends uh, at the end of a school year uh, in the early 80s. So you know already that he is playing a game with us. So the story is set in Buckley High Seniors. He and his friends are there for their last year, they're 17, and at the beginning of the new year there's a new guy arriving and uh, his name is Robert Mallory. And at the beginning, uh, Brett Ellis Easton, uh, Brett Easton Ellis says, well, Robert Mallory is a horrible guy. So he tells us that we have to watch out for him uh, at the, right from the start. So why? Well, everybody loves in his group, in his group of friends, loves that new kid that Robert Mallory he has an an air around him, he has flair, he has suave, he is a really cool guy, but Brett Ellis doesn't like him at all. He thinks he's a liar and he doesn't trust him. Now, we follow the group of friends and they all are very wealthy. Uh, they drive beautiful cars, uh, I believe Ellis has a Mercedes or a BMW, I, don't, I can't remember. Anyway, some driver Porsches and yeah, they are really well off. They, the clothes are also very important, so you really feel the setting uh, right from the start. So we are set in Hollywood or LA, very rich people, very, um, yeah, uh, protected in a way. But then there's also a serial killer and the serial killer, the trawler, is uh, hoovering around them in a way. So uh, one of their friends was murdered by a serial killer, by the trawler. And then another friend becomes victim of maybe an accident, maybe uh, the serial killer. And more and more, Brad Ellis wants to investigate what really happened. So he draws you in in the story and you constantly feel, can I believe him? Can't I believe him? What is real? What is not real? So Brad Easton Ellis, the writer, plays a lot of games with you. So it, it's an absolute mindfuck. Anyway, the story evolves, becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah, at the end, you'll know what has happened. Do you really? That's the story. Now, The Shards is indeed set in the 80s. It is a love song to the 80s. Uh, there's a lot of references to music, to uh, fashion from the time, uh, the cars, the setting, the people. It is wonderful, wonderful to revisit the 80s. Although I was very small at that time, but more mid 80s to end 80s, but still it was uh, wonderful to revisit those days. He is really good at setting up his story, at uh, building his story. The pace is very fast, very addictive, very, um, yeah, immersive. So you, there's not a dull second in that book. I think it's about 600 pages, but it, 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 you fly through it in, in a blink of an eye. And what I really appreciate is how, yeah, how all those kids become slowly or sometimes fast adults 
and how they deal with uh, day-to-day problems because although they are very rich, they also are often very lonely and actually quite abandoned in a way. Some are uh, left behind while the parents are doing a world trip or are in New York and the mother is in Europe or whatever. So yeah, they aren't really cared for. They just have everything they want except for love and respect from the parents. And that's what also plays very much in this uh, book. There is a lot of drug use, drug abuse, and a lot of uh, sex. It's very, uh, yeah, they're 17, so they are very, uh, let's call it, uh, uh, aroused. And yeah, there's a lot of explicit uh, sex in this book. But it doesn't slow down the book. It doesn't bother. It's It just makes sense. It makes sense that you're in the mind of a young teenager uh, that is discovering him, his masculinity, his sexual preferences. And yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah very, very head on. <laughs> um, what I also really like is that the mind games that are played with you are utterly believable and they are, it is a story that you don't feel that well, now he's overdoing it. It's not, there are no unbelievable twists in the story. It all makes perfect sense. The writing is absolutely fast paced, brilliant, funny sometimes. And it's, it's, yeah, it was, an absolute joy. It's a joy ride, really. It's a fast, wild ride. Now, is everything real? Did it really happen? Well, that's up to you to decide. A lot of the, a lot of it did. Uh, probably the drugs, the sex, the cars, the, the, the even the the serial killer. Because in those days, those were the the eighties were the deadliest times of all. Uh, a lot of killings, a lot of murders, a lot of uh, serial killers. They were uh, difficult to get caught because there was no DNA, there were no video cameras everywhere. So yeah, it's it's very believable that there was uh, a serial killer and things must have happened that are true. Was Ellis by his right, with his right mind, and in those days, I don't know, because drugs are a serious influence on his thinking. Um, so it's up to you to decide if it's real, and that's just the very joy of reading this, this book. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, and I gave it, of course, five stars. It's my first... Uh, Brad Easton Ellis book, and I know he has written uh, American Psycho, I've seen the movie, and I think I don't feel like reading um, American Psycho, but I really loved this book. This is a book for all uh, thriller lovers, mystery lovers, uh, dark academia or whatever that may be, uh, lovers, and like me, literary fiction. It is a must read. What a great start to 2023. Bye-bye.